I'm really hard on myself. I seem to have that in common with a lot of people around me. So I'm not sure if it's something about me that draws that in or it's just more common than I would think it is. I can't speak to where that comes from for somebody else, but I know for me, it came from feeling like a lot of people were hard on me when I was growing up. Most of them didn't mean anything by it. In fact, I think a lot of these people, their intentions were really good. There were just impossibly high standards for achieving what qualified as success in this community that I grew up in. And my parents just simply wanted to see me succeed by holding me to them. But my skill set and just my natural inclinations weren't really a fit for those things. So it was always sort of a clash and I internalized all of that criticism. So pretty soon, I didn't even need other people telling me what I was doing wrong even though of course they did, because I was already doing it on my own. And I think I did it to make their comments sting less. So I would make mine particularly biting and brutal. I don't even think this approach worked because of course it still hurt when other people <laughs> would say things that ripped me apart. So I don't think it served me and I think it held me back because I was afraid to even try to do something that would bring me a sense of achievement or satisfaction outside of the things that I already knew were socially acceptable because I just didn't want to hear it. It's been a lot of work to silence that voice. I still hear it all the time, certainly when I write, but that's not even the challenge that one might think it is because when you write, the only person reading it is you. It gets louder once I start to share that work with others. There probably isn't an area of my life where I don't hear that voice. I just think it's crazy how much we all try to sabotage ourselves and how often we're successful. There are these motivational quotes I'll see that are like, it's always been you versus you. And I always thought that was kind of dumb because there's so many other outside factors that impact what you're trying to do and what's going on, even if you somehow become the best possible version of yourself. So of course, I don't think it's just that, but I do think it is a lot more difficult if I'm working against myself to achieve anything I'm trying to do. And it's consistent too. I don't know for sure about anybody else, but I have my good and bad days. So sometimes it's a lot easier than other times. And sometimes there's factors that I know are affecting my general mood and outlook and how I'm approaching certain things. Other times it's not quite as clear to me what's going on. I just don't feel good. I wake up, I don't have it, I don't know why. Maybe there's a reason I'm not aware of. Sometimes it truly is nothing. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep, who knows? I would say this is another thing that I don't have all figured out in terms of what brings that on and what to do about it. I found for me at the moment, the most effective thing to do when something like that happens is just to know that, okay, I don't have it today. I just have to get through today. Here's what I have to do. I just gotta do it and try my best. And usually that fills me with a sense of accomplishment. I kind of appreciate it more because I know I had to dig a little deeper to make it all happen. So the more that I do those things, I guess the, the more evidence I have to myself when I'm trying to silence that inner voice that the inner critic is wrong because I say to myself, okay, well look at all these things that I've done. I have, I have proof because that critic is the toughest one of all. And I just sort of know that that's my default setting and I'm gonna have to spend time and energy outsmarting it. And whenever there is an outer critic whose words kind of bother me, typically 9.99 times out of 10, when I look at this person and I look at what their life is like, as far as I can tell, obviously you have no idea what goes on behind closed doors. I don't see anything about it that I want for myself. So then I say to myself, okay, why should their opinion matter? What about that could possibly make me think that they're right about me and who I am and what I'm trying to do? Like, what would they really know about it? And truly that inner critic is wrong too, because I never know what I'm actually capable of if I don't try. And even if it is something I sort of tried before in some type of variation and it didn't work out, I've just found that learning from experience is the only way that I get better. So it is a possibility that if I give 
something similar, a shot using things I've learned that I will get a different result. So like I always say, these are just things that have worked for me. That doesn't mean that they'll work for somebody else or that they're even going to continue to work for me. I'm not trying to tell anybody what I think they should do. I'm just trying to share things that I've found helpful as I've grown as a writer and started to share my work more and started writing more and consistently and just planning to write another novel and continue with this journey. So thanks for listening.